Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Ups and Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen and we have my friend Alicia here. Hi. Alicia, tell them what you up to. Tell them about your life. Tell them about my life. Tell them about my life. Tell them about your work and okay. how we know each other. Yes. So how we know each other is... How do I even meet you? Through DC, through Instagram. Yes. I love making friends through Instagram. I know, we're IG friends. Yeah. And we became pretty close. Shireen is amazing. I had my first event back in January, the Level Up Mixer. Yeah. And she was phenomenal with connecting me with people mm -hmm. and just helping me in that space because it was new for me. And then we just kind of connected here and there and yeah. now we're here. Yeah, and then Alicia did a couple of uh, coaching sessions with yes. me. Um, and so I was actually texting her last week because I started working on a new project and I was like, Alicia, remember when we were talking about mm -hmm. how you were telling me that you don't have to be medicated and you right. don't need to like, I, it's like you don't have to, you don't need things in your body to be able to like do what you're supposed to be doing on earth, right? Yes. Like, so I was actually thinking about how like I literally can't even recognize the person that you met. I feel like I was like major funk mode. And like it's crazy how like quickly you can change yes. with work. Like it doesn't just happen. Sometimes it sometimes it can happen, but I feel like you have to put a little bit of work into it for it to happen quicker. And I think totally. I would I was putting in work because I was just like I couldn't recognize myself. I didn't know who I was. So basically, yeah. um we chatted about I was having a lot of anxiety and like feelings about work, me quitting my job, um, you know, just a lot of lot of things going going through life, and um, a lot of busyness. Yeah, a lot of busyness and trying to like focus and trying to like yeah. figure out that clear path. And then I was telling her about how I felt like I needed to be kind of medicated to do my job, and she mm -hmm. was like, "No, you don't." And I was, I didn't believe her. <laughs> I was like, "No, maybe I do. Like maybe I have anxiety." And I need to have something in my system to be good at my job. Yeah. And um, she was like, no. And I knew that because I've, I've been in a position like last year when I was doing, like I did a music festival, I felt the sense of like natural high. And that's what we want to talk about. Like feeling like, you know, like what does that feel like? Like it's like this like elevated feeling of like, like, I don't know, like your brain's like just like yeah. inflated. Transcendence. Yes. And I don't know those words, so like, tell them, what does that mean? Yes. <laughs> well, you, you have transcended yeah. the day-to-day -day shit, yeah. right? All the anxieties, all the fears, yeah. all the stuff, the mental chatter, the clutter, the noise. Transcending that and really tapping into what your big mission is for yourself. Yeah. And so, um, I guess I didn't explain what I do, right? Yeah, no, like, I'm a them. coach, but lifestyle coach does not really embody what I do. It's yeah. just like a really basic term. So... Now I piggyback off of what my most recent client named me as, and she called me her spiritual midwife. Yeah. And I was like, oh. <laughs> what? And basically she broke that down and she was like, you helped me conceive my divine wisdom. Right. My divine vision. Yeah. And helped nurture it. I mean, yeah. she already knew her divine vision. We right. all know it, but yeah. like you're like guiding, conceiving like, it, yes. yeah, in a more detailed way, and getting laser focused on it, yeah, and then nurturing that vision to where you can ultimately birth that vision into reality. And so, mm -hmm. when you and I met, I remember trying to get you to refocus mm -hmm. on the bigger mission and the yeah. bigger vision, mm -hmm. and to really clear out all the extra clutter and all like the unnecessary shit yeah that was in the way of you really aligning yourself with that right but and i think one you have to be ready for it totally right, right? and then two it was like you know you were helping me and like guiding me but in the end like i had you i have to realize it right like you know yeah. what i mean like and you i take responsibility for the fact that you're not connected to that right. vision and then yeah. actually do that work to to make it happen right right yeah and like i remember feeling like well that was just i guess that was productive but like <laughs> <laughs> but i then, do remember after our conversation you were like okay 
It took a while. It takes a while I, for I it to simmer. And I almost felt like defeated. Like I was mm, like, I'm sorry. No, no, my, no. It, that was me. <laughs> okay. You know, okay. No, nothing to do with you. No, like, like I know what I need to do. I know, yeah. but it, I felt like almost trapped, and then. And then it just took me some time. Like, no, I have control over this. Totally. Like, it's okay to say no, even if you're good at something, even if you're capable of doing something, if it's not right. And that was really hard for me. Yeah. And then now... It's hard for most of us. Yeah, and then like now I have these opportunities. Right now I'm working on this project, I'm working with music, I'm working with talent. And I'm just like, I have this natural high. It's still crazy. It's still like stressful it's yeah. still like a lot of pressure but i feel like alive mm -hmm. and i feel like this shireen you were put in this place right now at this time to do this you're going to learn and you're going to grow and you're going to do even bigger things mm. and so do you think that 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 feeling of life mm -hmm. and transcendence comes directly from you being in direct alignment with what the divine has for you yeah yeah. And then there's like so much more. Right. Like there's so much more for me. I know, mm -hmm. but I'm like in this position right now to learn and grow. And yeah. then it's going to be like, okay, when you're ready, you're going to get even a bigger opportunity. And like, I also feel like this is like, a, this is training for me to be like even better manager for my husband and like mm -hmm. make even like more amazing things. Cause I know yeah. that's a huge part of my purpose is like, not even like, I want my husband to be famous. No, it's not even about that. My husband is so talented oh, yes, and know. he needs yes. to be exposed to the world. And I truly, truly, truly believe that. And then this is just gonna help me like make that happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. So what do you feel like is your, like how do you connect this to your life? Like how, where, what do you make, what makes you feel like naturally high? Mm. I mean, exactly what we were talking about, yeah. right? And learning how to say no. So once I got really clear mm -hmm. on what my vision was for my life and what my main priority is, yeah. there's a book called Essentialism. Okay. And, and I've, by, read, I've read other books that you've recommended to me, so I'm going to oh, make great. sure I that. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, by Gregory McCohen, I think. Uh -huh. And he talks about how, like, the word priority back, like, in the olden days yeah. was only, like, it came in singular form. Uh -huh. It turned to plural form once you yeah. know things started speeding up in i was society. thinking about that the other day like yeah like well, i was thinking about like i'm still ta I ta still talk to couples just to see if like mm -hmm. there's something that inspires me and, and i ask them what is your priority right because like everything can't be a priority no. that's, that's not the definition of priority exactly so and, yeah you know it you know yeah. it and you're like poor that okay wait we should have one priority yeah and so the book really guides you on how to create your priority statement because mm -hmm. obviously it's 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 going to be a big priority because it's going to yeah. cover a few things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I got really clear on what my biggest priority was, it was to live free within my authentic self. It had something to do with freedom yeah. and family. Yeah. And that's it. And yeah. so any opportunity, any conversation, any relationship Needs that to comes align. my way, yeah, mm -hmm. that doesn't align with that, yeah. I don't have time. And it makes it so much easier to say no. Yeah. And so that's what helps me stay elevated because I'm connected to that priority, which ultimately the priority comes from God, yeah. from the divine, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call them. Right. It comes from like getting connected to that and being really yeah. clear on that helps me feel like okay yeah and it's like you're being honest with yourself yeah and then you have like I don't know you have your truth and if you are off if you're not aligned with that then you could just use that as an excuse like to not do shit you don't want to do exactly, exactly. <laughs> you're like not even exactly. an excuse but like that's a truthful honest response like this is not aligned with my priorities right and just be more honest with yourself because yeah. I feel like I don't know, as women, as women of color, we're just kind of, we just do what we think we're supposed to do. Yeah. And then we feel like every- Like, sure, yes, yes, okay. <laughs> like, yes I can. Like, right, no. like every opportunity is, a, is an opportunity that we need to seize. And I'm learning that like, yeah, I'm appreciative of these opportunities. I'm appreciative yeah. that people like trust me, that believe in me, that want to come to me for my services, but not everyone is, not every opportunity is a great fit. Totally, because at the end of the day, if we say yes to something that we don't, that's not aligned, we're gonna hold resentment. Yeah. It causes irritation. Yeah. And it's just detrimental for everybody involved. Yeah. Like it's a lose-lose for You're everybody. You're not going to be able to 
give them what they need or like right, yeah exactly. like like it's not it's not gonna every situation should be a win-win and yeah. like when you do things that are not aligned to like what matters to you then someone's gonna lose and like what's the point right we have such like limited time on earth like what's the point and not doing things that are beneficial for everyone i feel like everyone deserves to have this feeling yes. and if you have no idea what this feeling feels like you don't need to do drugs <laughs> right. you don't need to do drugs to feel this way and i hope that everyone can figure it out and i really feel like it's testing and trying different things if you don't know for sure like if you don't know what that passion is it's just it's like testing and trying new things like that's true and i think also getting quiet yeah like, just shut down the thoughts stop asking people for opinions yes stop you know stop outsourcing or going out in the external world you know to get validation yes. for what you should be doing like to me if you're confused the key to that is quiet and stillness yeah until you hear that little voice because like our intuitive voice is like we can quiet it down yeah and it, it becomes muted after a while mm -hmm. and so we have to like crank up the volume the yeah. only way that happens is in a quiet space yeah right or not around anybody because nobody knows nobody knows what you should do for your life no only you know yeah and if you're looking for validation from others if you're looking for like the opinion of others if, if you're looking for someone to tell you like that's what I wanted I wanted someone yeah. to tell me what to focus on and like mm -hmm. nobody was gonna tell me the right answer I had to figure out what I was what I was supposed to do on earth right and that can change too totally and now you're like she just explained to me what she's doing like yes you literally she manifested yeah. a career opportunity that fits her DNA yeah like it's insane yeah because you got quiet enough to be like, okay, what do I want to do? What is my vision? And then like, that's the thing. It's like, we don't have to go seek it out either, right? No. I mean, you did. I mean, you obviously have to do the work, but yeah. opportunities will come to you because now you're receptive and you're open and the universe responds to that. Yeah. To that and, and, and you have to do some work. You do. Yeah, but. You do. But like. But maybe not as much. Cause right. I feel like the hustle and the grind is yeah. like the thing now. Right. Like you do not have to be out here running yourself ragged right. to figure out what you want to do or to like yeah find your passion or find your you, you your should lane. you gotta enjoy your life totally yeah and but then yeah obviously like the work needs to be done but yeah um it's a balance right and the work i really do believe the work becomes a lot more effortless mm -hmm. it's the work up here in the spirit and in the consciousness mm -hmm. that's where the bulk of the work happens yeah like getting clear here getting connected spiritually mm -hmm. That I'm telling you, the universe rearranges itself in your favor mm -hmm. when you can get that quiet yeah. and that clear on where you're going. Yeah. The work becomes a lot less strenuous, and, I'll say. And feels less like work. Because exactly. I don't even feel like exactly. I'm working. Yeah. Like, I feel like I'm just, like, having fun, hanging out with DJs. Like, right. Like, That's so amazing. Like, making... I mean, I love, like, making things happen and, like, being like, okay, I'm going to make this easier for you so you can spin and you can make this happen. Like, mm -hmm. And so you can just, like be talented and people can just enjoy your talent and like that's what makes me naturally high i love it yeah thank you thank you so much i'm so happy to thanks have for you having here. me yeah thank you all so much for watching yes uh, we do this let's get high we, together y'all yeah just naturally high right yes and i feel like this is the standard like this is our natural state yeah right but we're so used to an altered state where yes. we're heavy and we're burdened and yes. we're dragging and you need something to release and but you don't need anything you don't need to drink you don't need to yeah. you don't need to do drugs like right just just do what you love every day yeah and then maybe you could do that stuff like once in a while but yeah you, right but if you, you want to do it i mean we're not saying like no say yeah. no to drugs like <laughs> do you don't do that recreationally it's, it's okay <laughs> <laughs> but you shouldn't need i mean i don't know it's tricky like, yeah I you shouldn't be dependent on it or need it yeah yes. and i understand like there's like mental health issues and some of the work i do honestly this type of work can reverse mental illness mm. and that's a whole separate mm. conversation yeah you can dm me if you want to talk about that yeah but this type of work yeah. being aligned with your truest nature mm -hmm. and that divine wisdom that it's been proven i mean they've done research on it yeah it reverses mental illness symptoms and signs yeah um so 
yeah, even if you do have mental health issues, it's not like, oh my gosh, well, this doesn't apply to me. No. It does. Yeah. It really does. Like, it gets better. Right. And you don't need meds for it. But yeah. again, another conversation <laughs> yes. for another day. No, I believe that. I truly believe that. I just don't, I always get nervous saying stuff like, because it, I don't, yeah, I don't. It's controversial. I'm, yeah, but, I'm not a health care professional. Yeah. And, but there, I just think there's like, there's many options. Totally. You know, it's not always medicine. Like, I think talking to someone, like talking to a coach, talking to a therapist, yeah. Be really helpful for sure. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.